Speaking always has a good variety of different cases when a brand new phone comes out, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Spigen lineup for the brand new Galaxy S24 Plus. Now if you guys want to pick any of these up yourself, I will be putting product links in the video description, and there is one case here that's my absolute favorite, and I'll let you know during the course of this review. And I guarantee by the end of this video, you'll know which one of these cases is right for you. So let's get started. So here we have the Spigen Tough Armor case. Let's see how much the case weighs. This is a two-piece design case, so it's got a hard polycarbonate shell surrounded by a softer TPU, so it's going to be a little heavier. And this one weighs 57 grams. So again, here is that case. It's got a little plastic kickstand on the bottom here. I don't have nails, so it's kind of hard to get out. But it's, it's not very substantial, it's just kind of like a little flimsy piece of plastic, but it will get the job done. On the inside we have some foam pieces to help protect the phone when it is dropped. This case is also military grade drop tested. Fits on the phone nicely, feels good in the hand, it's got a nice smooth type of rubbery feel on the sides. The buttons are also easily accessible and clicky. If we look at the case from the side, you can see that it does have a raised edge all the way around the front of the phone. And we also have some reinforcements in the corners here again for that drop protection. Here we have the polycarbonate that goes the length, almost the length of the phone. We have our cutouts on the bottom. We have our kind of serrated textured power button on the side, our separated flat volume buttons. On the back, it's got that gunmetal look. We have that kickstand again, and it's also got a slight raised edge around our camera lenses for some protection there as well. So let's open the kickstand again. It's like I said, I don't have nails, so it's kind of hard to open up this kickstand. There we go. So you can put your phone down in the landscape mode, but it's not going to work in portrait. So you only have really this orientation, but you can watch Netflix or YouTube, something like that. Clips back into place. We have the TPU on the top and the bottom and the rest of the phone is covered by that hard polycarbonate. This also comes in a black as well. Not too bad. It is a little bit thicker than some other cases, but again, you're getting a little bit more protection too. This case also works perfectly fine with regular wireless charging. And the nice thing about this back is you're not going to see fingerprints either. You can touch it all you want, unless you have like really, you know, greasy, dirty hands. You, you really shouldn't see very much on the back here either. So that's definitely a plus. I'm definitely not a huge fan of the two-piece design cases. I just, I prefer the one piece because sometimes uh, the back kind of starts to lift off of the TPU. But again, it's going to give you more draw protection than some of the other cases, so it's up to you. And then here we have the Spigen Ultra Hybrid case. This case is a one-piece design, and it's a little lighter feeling. And it weighs about 36 grams. It does have a kind of frosted, transparent design on the back, so you can still kind of see the color of your phone. Just peel off the cover here does have a nice matte kind of texture and it's not going to show fingerprints either because of that matte look. I, I absolutely love that. So it's got this hard polycarbonate shell on the back and it's surrounded by a softer rubbery type TPU. We also have the protector on the inside as well. I'll put the phone inside the case. Fits the phone really well, snaps into place very solid, feels good in the hand. Again, it's got that soft rubbery type feel. It's not slippery, but it's not grippy either. Buttons on the side, easily pressable, nice and clicky. If we look at it from the side, you can see that it is fairly slim. We do have a raised edge all the way around the front of the screen. We have our Spigen logo on the side. We have our cutouts on the bottom. We have our power button and volume buttons on the side. On the back here again, it's got that nice matte, hard uh, polycarbonate shell. Doesn't show any fingerprints, feels really cool, nice and slick. 
and it also has a slight raised edge to protect our camera lenses. It also has some slight raised edges in the corner so when you put your phone face down and you tap on it, it's not going to rock all over the place, which I absolutely love. This also works really well with regular wireless charging too. This does seem to be a really nice slim case and I always am a big fan of the frosted back because when you buy a phone and you pick out a color, you don't want to cover it up with a case and it's nice that they have this frosted clear back so you can still see that, but it's not going to show fingerprints all over the place and you get that, you know, still protection around the edge of the phone. I actually like this case. I think it's going to offer you some fairly good protection. It's definitely not the best because it's not super thick, but it is going to keep your phone nice and slim and still offer your phone some draw protection. And then here we have the Spigen Liquid Air Case. This case already feels pretty light. Let's see what the scale says. 34 grams, so not too bad. It is pretty slim and it's made of a TPU material. There is no hard parts on this case. It's got that cool design in the side, cool texture on the back. Put our phone inside the case. Fits the phone really well. It feels solid on the phone. Feels good in the hand. Buttons on the side, nice and clicky. If we take a look at it from the side, you can see that it doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone. It's got kind of like this texture on the side to help with grip. And we also have a raised edge all the way around the phone. We have our cutouts on the bottom. We have our power button and our volume buttons along with that kind of serrated texture. It looks really cool. On the back, it's got that really cool looking texture as well. And it also has a slight raised edge to protect our cameras on the back. This case also works fine just like the other cases with regular wireless charging. So if you want a case that's going to give your phone some protection from drops while still keeping your phone fairly slim, the Liquid Air is definitely a nice choice. I like the texture on the back. I'm not a huge fan of the super thick cases that, you know, protect your phone from drops, but if you have kids or you're, you know, work working somewhere, you're worried about your phone dropping and getting damaged, uh, you probably want something thinner, but if you're not too worried about that, again, you just want some protection for your phone while keeping your phone nice and thin, this is definitely a nice case. This also comes in a dark green as well. And then here we have the Ultra Hybrid in a totally clear back, not frosted like the other one. This case is 35 grams. It also has the protective covers on the outer side and on the inside as well. And as you can see, the case is totally clear. So if you don't want that frosted look, this is definitely the way to go. It does feel really nice and light. Put our phone in the case. Fits just as well as all the other ones. Feels good in the hand. Again, it's got that smooth rubbery type feel. Buttons are easily accessible and pressable. Nice and clicky. If you look at it from the side, you can see that it's got a raised edge all the way around the phone. We have our Spigen logo, our cutouts on the bottom, our power button and the volume buttons on the side, and there we have the clear back. Now unlike the mat, because this is totally clear, it is going to pick up some fingerprints. But you can just very easily wipe those away with little effort, so not too bad. But if you want a totally clear case, that's what you're going to be getting, <laughs> no matter what case you get. It also has a raised edge around our camera lenses for some protection there. For me, I prefer the matte always because I can't stand fingerprints getting all over my phone. And with the frosted, you can still see the color of the phone. But again, you don't have the fingerprints, whereas the clear, yes, you can see the back of the phone really clearly, the logo, but then you have to contend with all the fingerprints you're going to get on the phone. So it's got the hard polycarbonate back for protection and a soft TPU material on the sides. Again, this case works perfectly fine with regular wireless charging. 
So again, if you want a, a case that's going to give your phone some protection while not being totally clear, this is definitely a good option. And here we have the Spigen liquid crystal case. This is a totally clear case. So again, this case feels pretty light. It is 35 grams. It is made of a TPU material. There is no hard parts on this case whatsoever, but it is totally clear. Put our phone in the case here. Fits the phone very nicely. It feels grippy in the hand. The buttons are easily pressable, nice and clicky. If we look at it from the side, you can see that it does have a slight raised edge all the way around the phone. There's also some reinforcements in the corner there for draw protection. We have our cutouts on the bottom. We have our kind of textured power button on the side. There's our volume buttons. And we have that crystal clear backing. <laughs> it feels kind of rubbery when you touch it. And we do have a raised edge to help protect our camera lenses. So if you want a totally clear case um, and you're not worried about you know a lot of drop protection but still keeping the phone pretty slim this is definitely a good option and the case does work perfectly fine with regular wireless charging. So again even though it's going to show off the color of your phone on the back if you do touch this a lot you are going to get you know, some smudges and whatnot, but you can easily wipe those away, but that's what you're going to contend with when you get the totally clear case and not the mat. And then here we have the Spigen Rugged Armor case. Let's see how much this case weighs. This case weighs 40 grams. It still feels pretty light. Again, this is another TPU type case. But this is one of my personal favorites. I've used the Rugged Armor case personally on quite a few of my Galaxy devices and I've never had any issues whatsoever. Looks really nice, offers some good drop protection, and it feels really cool. Fits the phone perfectly, feels really nice in the hand. It's got kind of a texture on the side to help with grip. And it also has reinforcements in the corners in case you happen to drop your phone. If we look at it from the side, you can see it's got a same raised edge around the front of the phone. It also keeps your phone fairly slim as well. It's got that cool texture on the side. Again, the reinforcements in the corners, cutouts on the bottom, our power button and volume buttons on the side with that same texture. And on the back, it's got this little carbon fiber inlay and this really nice kind of texture, not really rough, but I don't know, kind of like papery texture material, but it doesn't show fingerprints, which I love. And it's also got a slight raised edge around our cameras for protection there as well. And this case also works with regular wireless charging. So for my case, I like a case that is going to keep the phone pretty slim, but still offer some better than average drop protection. And that's what this case offers you because it has, again, some larger reinforcements in the corner. So if you happen to drop your phone and it hits these corners, your phone is going to be protected. And I will tell you that I have dropped um, past phones in this case and they survived without any nicks or dings. And I suspect that it's going to be the same for the Galaxy S24 Plus. So the Rugged Armor case, definitely a fan favorite for me. Again, keeps your phone pretty slim, looks really cool, doesn't show any fingerprints, and gives you some really nice draw protection. And then here we have the Ultra Hybrid in a clear. So let's see how much this case weighs. About 35 grams. It's got a hard polycarbonate back surrounded by a rubbery type TPU. Now before you put your phone inside the case, we want to remove these protectors on the inside. We'll put our phone inside. And then you can remove the back protector. You can see it shows off the color of your phone. Very nice. Feels good in the hand. It's got a bit of a grip to it. Buttons on the side. Easily pressable, nice and clicky.
If we look at the case from the side, you can see there's a slight raised edge all the way around the front of the phone. On the side here, we have our Spigen logo. We also have some little airbags in the corners for some extra drop protection. The case also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone and it's got these slight raised edges on the bottom of the case. So when you put your case on its back, you don't have to worry about it wobbling around if you're typing. If you look at the bottom, we have our cutouts. On the other side, we have a textured power button and our volume buttons. On the back, again, shows off the color of your phone. And as far as fingerprints, it does seem to pick up very minor fingerprints. Of course, it just all depends on how, you know, dirty or greasy your fingers are. But you can easily wipe those away. And we also do have a slight raised edge for camera protection as well. Pretty nice case. And it also does work with regular wireless charging too. So if you're looking for a totally clear Spigen case, I would definitely go with the clear ultra hybrid. And the back of the case does have some pretty good grip to it as well. If you run your finger across it, it does feel pretty grippy, but it's more like a, a plasticky grip not like a rubbery type grip. And then here we have the Spigen Glass TR Easy Fit Optic for the rear camera lenses. So we get two protectors and a lens removal tool. So these are super easy to install. All you need to do is simply clean off your camera lenses before we place these on. Then take your camera lens protectors. You wanna line them up with the way that the camera lenses are on your phone. We're gonna peel off the back protector and then just simply place this over your camera lenses and press them into place. Lift up on the guide and you're all set. That looks super clean. I like the black edges of the camera lenses. It really makes it look like it was meant to be on the phone. And as you can see, it really doesn't add much raised edge to the camera lenses either. That's pretty sleek looking. Let's take a look at our camera on our phone. So it looks pretty clear to me. I don't see any issues, even if you're zooming in. Yeah, everything looks nice and clean. So you shouldn't have any issues taking photos or videos with these protectors on the back of your phone. Now let's put it into a Spigen case and see if they still fit. And as you can see, they fit perfectly inside the Spigen case. So there was a raised edge to protect your camera lenses, but now the camera lenses are pretty much flush with the case, but they're still protected. That looks really nice. So if you want to protect your lenses and still use a case, you are definitely able to do that. Now let's test out the scratch resistance for these camera lens protectors. So typically, tempered glass starts to scratch around a Mohs hardness number six. So we're gonna start off with a number five. Then we'll move on to a number six. And then finally, a number seven. And if we take a closer look, you can see there are no scratches at the number five. There are ever so slight at the number six with a little chip and a number seven cracked the screen. So scratch resistance for these protectors are pretty standard for tempered glass. And now I'm gonna remove them to show you that there's no damage to your camera. So you just simply need to take the little lens remover, remover tool and we'll lift up on these lenses. And as you can see, there's absolutely no damage to your camera lenses. So they definitely did their job. So that is Speakin's case lineup for the brand new Galaxy S24. Again, if you guys wanna pick any of these cases up yourself, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out my channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Which one of these cases did you guys like the best? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this, I would definitely recommend checking out my best and worst cases video for the brand new S24 Plus because I test out a whole bunch of different cases all in one place and you can check that out by clicking on the video you see on your screen right now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.